Welcome to this special report here on this Friday evening. Hopefully your holidays are running smoothly, but obviously we had a big weather event today. We had some ice, so some of us got some snow, and now we got a lot of slick roads here across the area, and that will carry on into the weekend. So let's talk all about it. We still do have a weather impact alert in effect, and that's mainly for the slick roads going into overnight tonight and continuing into early tomorrow as well. So we'll continue to track that out for you. So that's going to be the, the main impacts. Uh, none of us, not a lot of us are gonna need to shovel and plow because of the system. Let me show you those snow totals. Now we've had a few come in and uh, send us your reports, but Susquehanna in Susquehanna County, two and a half inches. That's from our storm reporter, Alec, who uh, reported two and a half inches. Kurt uh, gave me this earlier, three quarters of an inch in Clark Summit. I also had a viewer in Scranton that said they got a half an inch and us at WNEP TV, a half an inch before it turned into a sleet and that turned into a sleet very quickly or else we would have been closer to two, three, maybe even four inches of snow here. But here's that big weather system that is now pushing in. I'm gonna zoom in and show you that. So we got some dry air punching in and that's really going to start winding things down across the area. So here's what we're dealing with right now. Just some scattered ice and some sleet there pushing through pretty much for the entire area. Now there's some spots maybe with some snow, but that's be all beginning to uh, push out and clear out. Some of us may see a leftover flake here, or there into the rest of the evening. You're seeing there in Susquehanna County and parts of Northern Wayne County, including Honesdale, maybe seeing a couple flakes, but it doesn't look, look like it's coming all too heavy right now. And then towards the lower Susquehanna Valley there, Bloomsburg, seeing a little bit of trace of stuff, but not coming nearly as heavy as it did earlier today. We do have a couple watches and warnings still in effect, the winter weather advisory. I do think they're going, going to cancel this in the next coming hours, but I just want to let you know that there still is a watch and a warning out there, and that's mainly just to remind you, hey, the roads are going to be icy. That's probably why they still have that out there. And let's check in the visibility. Visibility is limited in spots you see there in like Cumming County, Williamsport, Jersey Shore, Muncie Creek, Pine Creek, about two to three miles of visibility. And over towards the Poconos, this is improving. Stroudsburg, three miles, four miles in Lehighton, and uh, four miles in Mount Pocono. And the w good thing is with these icy conditions, I know you probably had Friday night plans or maybe you didn't, but the, the winds aren't all too bad. So we're not talking about something where um, they're going to be gusting to 30, 40 miles an hour and you can be blown off the road. Just remember to keep two hands on the steering wheel and keep it slow if you have anywhere else to be for the rest of the evening. Now it's starting to get chilly in some spots. You got Mount Pocono 17, Honesdale 20, 13 Montrose. So not expecting a lot of this ice to melt. You see Williamsport there and Danville, Sunbury trying to get towards the freezing point, but not quite. Let's zoom into the, the Valley cities here. Got 21 in Carbondale, 22 in Clark Summit, 22 in Moosick, and 26 in Wilkes-Barre and 26 in Pittston. And there in the Southern tier, 23 in Hazleton, 25 in Broadsheadville and then 25 in Lehighton. Now what happened today was a little bit of a tricky forecast. We were mentioning uncertainty and basically there was a lot of warm air that was in the upper levels, mid and upper levels of the atmosphere. And this is what we got. And the precipitation melted and then it tried to freeze right before hitting the ground and it was very heavy. The whole column was not below 32 degrees and this is really tricky and that's why it, weather is <laughs> weather forecasting is pretty tough at, at some points, but yeah, we're watching the po the possibility and the likelihood in some spots to have icy road conditions. Well, one of our reporter anchors, Jack Colkin, just said he he was out there and some of the major roads that he was driving on, like I-81, were uh, clearing out and okay. So hopefully that's the case for the major roads. But again, if you don't have to be traveling, it probably isn't the best idea to do so. Those high temperatures today were in the 20s. It was a very very chilly day, but uh, yeah, for the rest of this, the rest of this evening, maybe a few flurries. I think this particular model is showing a little bit too much, uh, too much uh, what's actually going to happen. We apologize for that. We'll get that sorted out. We'll get that sorted out here in a second, but I do think uh, none of us are really going to see this much amount of snow across the area. We'll just see maybe a couple flakes, but that should all be clearing out. We'll begin tomorrow quiet. But again, on the chilly side with those icy conditions, the, the sun will come out tomorrow briefly at some points, but it's not going to be all too warm, especially in the afternoon. Uh, so the, I'm not expecting a whole bunch of meltage of any of any snow and ice. And so 
those untreated roads is definitely going to continue to be a concern. So here are those temperatures going on into the overnight, dropping into the middle 20s, and then in the afternoon, warming up and warming up into the low and middle 30s. A little bit warmer there in the you see in the central Pennsylvania in the middle 30s, but again, those icy roads are still going to be uh, a concern going on into tomorrow. So here's the extended forecast. I do have a bit of good news. I do have a bit of good news for you, especially if you haven't traveled home yet or need to travel. Tomorrow is going to be a tricky day, but we are going to get some rain uh, on, on Sunday. It'll be a bit chilly in the morning, but we're going to get some pure rain on Sunday, and that should wipe away a lot of the the ice that's still left around the roads and then Monday it'll be uh, raining as well. You see that high there on, on Monday in the 40s. So that should clear out a lot of the the, the snow and ice. Yeah, the, a lot of the, the snow and ice across the area. So that's a bit of good news here. I want to before we go, I want to show you some of the road conditions. So right now we're looking at Pottsville. You see there's St. Patrick's Cathedral. This is what we're dealing with a lot of just about a a tenth to a quarter inch of ice that's really going to make it slippery so yeah if you have salt if you have anything like that it's going to be a great idea to get that down and hopefully eat away at the ice so if you are headed out early tomorrow give yourself 10 20 minutes extra time that's that's a major concern or maybe a metal shovel to help chop things up if you don't have uh, particularly have uh, salt or anything like that let's take a look at our roof cam yeah, the, the visibility is okay here in, in the in the valley and off our roof cam. You see that I've been looking at these cars and yeah, it's a slow go on the roads. So remember to keep on keeping it slow. Again, if you have to be anywhere, if you have to travel. Remember to keep it slow. And I believe we have our Williamsport camera up, and you can see the uh, the camera looks like it iced over a little bit. Can't really see too much of what's going on in Williamsport, but you got about a tenth to a quarter inch of ice. And again, remember to practice that, that safety there going on into tonight and tomorrow. But it looks like things will gradually improve going on into Sunday and Monday. Before we go, I want to show you this one last thing. I want to show you the rainfall. I believe I have it pulled up. So here, here we go. We'll, we'll wind it back. There we go. So for tomorrow, just uh, cl some clouds and some sun. But here's that rainfall going on into Sunday. A brief mix is going to be possible, but mostly just rainfall. It's just a cold, cold rain. And then into Monday as well, you see that rainfall continuing to uh, push in on Monday. And then our next chance for uh, snow will be on Tuesday night. So for overnight, 24 degrees. Again, a light wintry mix still possible. But the ma that major concern is going to be those roads that will still be icy here. So yeah, that's the update for now. We'll be live on on streaming at 10 o'clock and then WNEP News, uh, WNEP News Watch 16 at 11 o'clock for that latest update on things that'll be going on. So tune into those shows as we get a better, clearer picture of what's gonna be happening over the next couple of days. Remember to stay safe, keep it slow, and uh, yeah, enjoy the rest of your holiday holiday week. It looks like we have an extended week here. We got we had the two days off Wednesday, Thursday. We have a bit Friday, and then we have another two days. So uh, yeah, have a happy holidays and a happy new year. And we'll catch you back on here, Newswatch 16 at 10 and 11.